Hello, YouTube. It's time for smell vision Part 2. Previously on smell vision smell comes to the movies in the 60s, to the internet in the 90s, except it doesn't work. Today, we look deeper, go further, sniffing out answers, raising a bigger stink, and for the first time on YouTube, Mikola sings. Yes, I've taken up the guitar. I don't even have proper calluses. Question for the guitar players out there. How did anyone invent an instrument that is so painful to play? And why does anyone bother to learn it? Mm, ow! But wait, there's more. I'm accompanied in my vocal debut by Tom Nilsson on accordion. Whoa! But before we get to the song, I want to talk a little more about Digicent and why it failed. I got some new information. So I think I understand now the essence of the problem. Essence. Essence, right? Okay. Oh, but before I get to Digicent, I want to talk about a movie where the smell gimmick did work. And here it is. John Waters' Polyester, starring Divine and Tab Hunter. Filmed in Odorama. It will blow your nose. And how did Odorama get around the problem of stinking up the entire auditorium with smells that just wouldn't dissipate? Two words and a mm. Scratch and sniff, baby. Empower the audience to manage the whole thing themselves. A number flashes on the screen, you scratch, you sniff. The other secret? Don't go for subtle. As this poster attests, these were some pretty rude and crude smells. All this on that little card. Powerful stuff, that scratch and sniff. Powerful stuff. By the way, the scratch and sniff cards for polyester have been reprinted. Uh, they did that for TV. So there's still quite a few available. If you want to look on eBay, you usually can find a polyester scratch and sniff card. In my family, there was a little tragedy around this technology. My, my uncle lost a fortune trying to market a scratch and sniff map of New Jersey. Of course, when most people talk about smell o vision they are really not talking about movies with perfumes. They want something like the telephone or the video camera, something like Skype or iChat, something that's two-way smell communications. I can let you actually smell this wonderful orange. Or if I'm cooking, let you smell what I'm cooking. Or other kinds of odors that I leave to your imagination. Now, Digisense, the company that was featured on Wired magazine, looked like they were on the path to do that. But they never shipped. Why? Well, it turns out that aromas are very different from light patterns and sound patterns. Light and sound are energy forms. Electromagnetic energy or vibrational energy. But aromas, they're just chemicals. Physical, material, molecular chemicals. It's so easy to lose track of the fact that odors are stuff, or molecules, because we don't see them. They're invisible. Oh! Oh! Okay, in real life, we don't see odors. In comic books, we see odors. That, that's the original smell of vision. The folks at Digisense invented something like a smell printer, but whereas a regular printer uses ink cartridges to squirt out drops of ink onto paper, the Digisense device, called the iSmell, used aromatic oils, heated them up depending on the digital codes, squirted them out on a little heater, heated them all up, and they would go wafting towards your nose. As far as I can tell, it worked, and it worked very well uh, up to a point. I asked Mark Cantor, who was involved with the company, what the ultimate problem was, and he said this. Some of those aromatic oils remained on the heater. And after repeated use, uh, a lot of the smells kind of blended and meld and munged together. And pretty soon, it all wound up smelling like sh**. Imagine, if you will, you had only one pot to cook in and no way to wash that pot. Meal after meal after meal. You get the idea. Maybe it's a good thing they didn't ship. I mean, here's some compensation. The name I smell is still available for a new line of fragrances from Apple. Evan Yates of New Zealand did this parody. One other bit of compensation. With no working smell of vision available in the marketplace, well, there's a certain amount of liberty for all of us. Cue music. I have 
haven't bathed in many a day, but I don't fear derision, cause all of you are far away and there is no smell o vision. I took a walk where doggies walk, shoe and poo collision. But I don't see why you should squawk, you don't have smell o vision. I'm munching garlic, belching beer, I eat raw onions too. Thank God there's no technology to send my stink to you. If someday science marches on, I'll make a new decision. I vow to shower and wear cologne when we get smell o vision. We get smell o vision. And thank you, Tom Milsom, for the accordion track.